Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. What a morning to wake up. Darth Vader is back. We have seen a really big crash here to our support of $10,500 during this morning. This happened kind of in a couple of minutes and we have to analyze right now. Are we seeing the beginning of a bigger correction or is this just a flash crash to liquidate and stop out some longs? This is now the big question and I really hope that you didn't get any emails of liquidation. That's why I'm always telling you use stop losses. Always put also orders just in front of liquidation prices in case that you want to keep safe your trade. Otherwise, just use stop loss or close the trades during weekend or overnight because such things can always happen during an uptrend. And the same once we are in a downtrend. Also, we have similar uh, wicks to the upside or to the downside like we have seen this morning. And as you can see, Bitcoin recovered immediately after this uh, crash here. So we came down here to the $10,500. So the most important support to hold now during this uptrend in case that we would have lost here this $10,500. Then I think we would have initiated the bigger correction that will also most likely going to fill the CME gap that we have at $9,600. So down at these levels. And here you can also see that we closed the CMEs on Friday at $11,000. $1,600. So don't panic, guys. Most likely we're going to retrace till tomorrow uh, back to those levels. So towards $11,600. And if not, we're going to have a new CME gap up to $11,600. So don't panic, sell. And remember that those kind of moves are always happening on Bitcoin when we're seeing the prices move like crazy to the upside or to the downside. And yesterday also we had here this breakout from $11,500. We had the confirmation and also we broke here even $12,000. The problem is only that we got rejected here heavily and currently we have this uh, big red candle here. So this so-called Darth Vader red candle here to the downside. And the good thing is that Bitcoin is already recovering back up. And also we closed the one hour candle above the previous support here of around $11,000. You can also see that the RSI and Stochastic currently one hour are oversold and also we are trading right now between the 2050 and the 200 moving average. So we have to see right now if we are able to start to build up support again above 11,500. If we are having this test here that the previous support, which now could be acting as a resistance, then we might see here a potential bigger correction in play and we should consider to close our longs or take Take some profits here to rebuy cheaper in once we're also going to close the CME gap at around $9,600. So the question is right now, are we able again to build up support here or are we getting rejected here at these uh, price levels? And this is why you have to keep a very close eye on what is going on during this coming week, because this could be significant for the next move. And also if you want to scale in some nice long position down to those levels at around 9,600, as soon as we're going to close the CME gaps below of us. And of course, also if you want to buy some cheaper Bitcoin and also some altcoins we're gonna also have a look later on ethereum because ethereum yesterday also broke some important resistance and uh, first we're gonna have here a uh, overlook over all the time frames here on uh, bitcoin you can also see that currently we're building up all the support above eleven thousand three hundred dollar which should be a bullish sign and a confirmation that we will most likely have this eleven thousand five hundred dollar retest and then see if we can recover immediately back up here and continue here the push towards 14,000 or have we seen for at least this move here the top already and we could consider uh, here uh, to have a bigger correction. Also if we do a small Fibonacci retracement just based on this uh, big sell-off that we had here you can see that the 0.618 Fib line is perfectly lining up here at $11,530. So in case that we're gonna have a bounce here watch out for this price level so the previous support which now again should be acting as a resistance because this resistance up here is the resistance that we have since uh, a very long time. It's this yellow line that is the top of the channel that we were in in the last couple of days and weeks. So this is going to be very important as soon as we're going to test here this line. There you can think about to take some profits, close your long position 
or scale in more longs and buy some more if we are able to break through and also start to build up support because in that case this could just have been a reset and we are still on the way towards our targets between 14 to 20 thousand dollar for this move otherwise we're gonna correct and we're gonna most likely also touch the bottom of this uh, yellow channel which is currently at around nine thousand four hundred dollar and this would also close the cme gap that we have at nine thousand six hundred so everything is still in the cards everything is still possible it's just gonna depend if we're able to break through 11,500 or not and now let's also have a look quickly in the bollinger band because here we clearly overshooted it to the downside macd is also shifted to the downside right now and we are retracing back down into the lower area of the bollinger band and you can see the midline is also here at 11,650 dollar so watch out for this uh, price level in case that we're going to have another attempt of the bulls to break through if you see that we're getting rejected already at 11,500 this could indicate that in the next week we're going to have a possible correction also to fill the CME gap below of us and don't forget guys weekends are always play time on the weekends we often see those kind of moves it's always have been like this so don't be surprised if during the weekend we're gonna see candles like this that can happen at any time to the upside or to the downside that's why I'm always trying not to trade during the weekends only from Monday to Friday but of course sometimes because of these big candles you can do a lot of gains if you are in the right trade and that's why on the weekend is always play times always gambling if you want to keep up with uta and don't trade too risky then only trade during monday to friday if possible also never keep a trade overnight open if possible otherwise always make sure to use a stop loss or to put a trade in just above your liquidation price so your trade will not get liquidated all right and now let's have a look here into the four hour time frame because bitcoin came down even below the 50 moving average currently we are also closing candles below the 20 moving average which is a bearish sign so in the next couple of hours we could see some further pushes to the downside but don't panic guys remember that we close the cmes at 11,600 on friday most likely we're gonna stay and retrace in that area otherwise we're gonna have a new future gap above us which is also very bullish and you can see that the 20 moving average currently is at 11,380 so as soon as we can close four hour candles above this moving average then we should be again heading to the upside otherwise it looks like that we could be in here for a major correction you see also that the stochastic and RSI now cooled off we are right at the 50 level in the RSI in theory we should see a big bounce from it otherwise if we're going to lose here the 50 level in the RSI we're going to have here uh, a possible little crash another little red candle that could potentially take us down again towards $10,500 and also bring here the RSI and stochastic in the four hour in complete oversold condition and if we open up the Bollinger Band in the four hour you can see that also here now we closed in the lower area so here the targets are between 11,360 and here the bottom of 10,750 that could be maybe a good long opportunity here down at 10,700 to 10,500 if you think that we're gonna retrace back up towards 11,600 on Monday the thing is that the MACD is now having a bearish cross so this could indicate that for the next couple of hours we're gonna see here this move towards 10,500 dollar again so the momentum here in the lower time frames is clearly shifted to the downside and now let's have a look here in the daily time frame because the bigger time frames are way more important here you can see that we had here uh, the 20 daily moving average as a support we came down very close to touch it also rsi now cooled off a little bit but we are still in overbought condition stochastic is also still in overbought condition so here in the daily is kind of uh, cooling off a bit here the our assigned stochastic but also here we have a lot of room left to the downside in case that we're starting here a major correction and in that case i would target here uh the bottom of this yellow channel potentially also maybe a test of the 200 daily moving average which is at 8700 dollar but i don't think that we will go lower than uh, this 9k area here so i don't think that we're going to have this 200 daily retest pretty soon and if we open up here the bollinger band in the daily 
can see that finally finally we came back into the bollinger band after overshooting it for so long and currently we're retracing back into the midline and you see also here 10k is a very key level macd is still shifted to the upside so here in the daily we are still bullish even though we could come down here towards 10k and this price level you should take as a good long opportunity so don't panic sell or don't fomo in right now wait here for a complete retracement and the test of 10k and this cme future gap feeling bitcoin already started its bull run and it's just a matter of time till we're gonna test the all-time high so from now on we should consider to always buy the dips and try to long the dips and not to short the tops because it is very high risk to short bitcoin when it's going parabolic and of course it's always up to you if you want to short the market or not but in my opinion it's always better to wait for a good long opportunity as long as the trend is shifted to the upside and right now the trend is clearly shifted to the upside now we're going to have a look on the weekly time frame because also here it's still looking very bullish we have rsi and stochastic shifted still to the upside so this little uh, week here that we had currently didn't affect it much uh, the price situation so we still had this breakout from this uh, huge big resistance that came down here since 2017 and yeah for the long term we're still very bullish we're still above the 20 weekly moving average which currently is right at the bottom here of this channel at around 9200 so even if we would come down to retest the 20 weekly we will still remain bullish for the long term so don't panic guys take it as an opportunity if we are really going that low it is possible everything is possible but since we broke out from this red line here from this huge resistance at 10k everything is good to go for the long term even though for the short term we could see a possible bigger correction still coming and now let's also have a look in the bollinger band in the weekly because currently we are still right here at the top yesterday we overshooted it to the upside so also here a retracement back into the bollinger band was expected and we could even drop towards the middle line here of 8700 where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up and we will still remain bullish here even though it is possible that we could drop even towards these levels we have also the macd still shifted to the upside so everything is still looking very bullish in the bigger time Time frames and now let's have a look into ethereum because yesterday we broke out here from the 400 dollar resistance so this resistance up here was a very significant one and you can see that we had this nice green candle here and then today here this big crash that took us down towards 300 dollars again and we are also on ethereum still very over bought especially here in the daily time frame but also since we broke out here from this huge resistance i'm very bullish for ethereum and i think here we're gonna do a lot of gains here because the next target is towards 500 to 650 dollars so i think we're definitely now on the way to those targets you can also see it here in the fibonacci retracements based from the top that we had and the bottom that we're still here in early stages we are still in this lower area where we could also easily drop again towards 250 to 280 dollars before we can bounce and break decisively this resistance and also test the 600 dollar level but all in all ethereum is looking very bullish not only ethereum also xrp and litecoin are starting to look really bullish for the next big parabolic bull run but guys you always have to be prepared for such dumps and corrections they can happen at all time and this is when you should take the opportunity to buy some cheaper in or scale in longs and of course no one can predict them but usually they always happen during the weekends when the traditional markets are closed so always keep a very close eye on the market during the weekends in case that you have a trade open and here in the lower time frames it looks like that we could have a continuation of this dump to possibly retest this ten thousand five hundred dollar support down here if this one is getting lost then maybe we could initiate a bigger correction to the downside but currently it's also looking like that we are building up here again support already at eleven thousand two hundred dollar and we could see a possible retest of this eleven thousand five hundred dollar resistance in case that we are able to break it again then i think we should be heading definitely towards 14k here on bitcoin and 600 dollar on ethereum so don't panic sell my friends we are still on our way but keep a close eye on what is going on in the next couple of hours and also tomorrow as soon as the cmes are gonna start again and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up 
Don't forget that currently on Bybit there is a competition coming up starting from the 10th of August. So make sure to register to it. You find all the links down below here in the video description. With my links you can get some sign up pony and also you can join my team. So if you want to trade as a team then make sure to join my team. You find also the invitation link down below here. You can get a lot of bonus and also you take advantage of this discount on trading fees. There is a price pool of currently 200 Bitcoin so it's definitely worth to try and if you want to trade solo it's also possible then you have to just to put a deposit at least on Bybit of 300 dollar. If you want to trade in the team you need at least 0.1 Bitcoin in your Bybit wallet and of course if you anyway want to trade with the leverage you can also use for example femex or btr those two exchanges i also recommend you very much especially femex there you can trade even gold and gold is also looking really bullish here it looks like that we could have here a potential breakout here to the upside so if you want to trade also gold with your bitcoin you can do that easily here on femex because here you can easily swap over coins for example bitcoin into dollar and then trade gold or or chain link xrp and so on if you're interested in doing that because also here femex you can open up multiple trades then you find also the sign up link down below here with my link you can get 72 dollars in bonus you have to put some deposits on the exchange to get these full rewards but if you want to trade with leverage up to 100x then femex is the exchange for you especially if you want to trade for example chain link or gold and the other exchange is bityard here you can trade with tether so if you took some profits out in tether and you still want to trade with the leverage up and downs all the coins that you want then btr is the exchange for you here you can trade all the coins you want only with tether and also you can get a lot of bonus here up to 258 dollars depending on how much volume you're trading so if you like this kind of content guys please moon up the like subscribe to the channel here if you have twitch you're also very welcome to join my twitch channel and also our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome shout out to all the community over there we have a great crypto family so make sure to tune in here in our discord trading chat especially if you're participating here on the bybit world series of trading event so thank you very much for watching my friends don't panic sell right now just keep hodling we are right at the beginning of a huge big bull run thank you for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye